begin with the future first. Start with the future. Solve to the future state first. We started to explore that with your envisioning exercise of what does it look like for you to be in, to have arrived in July of 2020. There are two reasons why you want to focus and solve to the future state. Two reasons. The first reason is so many of the people around you are invested in the current state. Okay? And they have developed the mastery of proving to you and to everybody else why another different future is not possible tomorrow. You know what I'm talking about. You're surrounded by people that mm. have theologized the current state as the only possible way of going on. There's so much invested. So for you, you do not want to fight that resistance. You want to bypass that resistance. The way you do this is by structuring a conversation about the future state rather than fighting about the current state. That's the first reason why you want to solve to the future. There is another second reason of why you want to, to solve to the future. If instead you solve a current problem, a current struggle you're grappling with, you may actually be successful. You may solve that successfully. And that may land you in a place from which you can never again make the, the journey to the future you imagine. Either because you have exhausted your resources in solving a current problem, or it landed you in a structure or in a place where you have no longer the path to get to the future you imagined. So what you want to do is forever be solving to the future state. And as you do, as you do concurrently address the crisis, the challenges, the problems. You want to solve to the future state and address the issues you're grappling with in context, with that vision in mind. How do you do it? Somebody begins to explain an issue they're grappling with, and the moment they pause just to inhale and take some oxygen in, and you say, I get what you're saying. Tell me, what is the future that you imagine for us in this? Or you'd say, describe to me if the two of us worked on this together and can be very successful. Describe to me the future we will be creating. Just pivot the conversation. Because people like to forever explain the problem of today. And what you want to do is to pivot that conversation to change the point of efficacy, to change what we are talking about. And all of a sudden, in light of the future, you can begin to look at today's challenges, perhaps sometimes even as opportunities.